Welcome guys to a new video on my channel. I just feed the birds some uh, egg food. I also have the birds outside in Sputnik, not uh, really outside because of the bird of prey. We can't uh, have them uh, out. So yeah, we will uh, kind of miss some birds then. So that's not what we want. Here we feed the birds some egg food. As you can see, this bear also got the first youngster. <coughs> the other egg will be out uh, this evening or tomorrow maybe <coughs> for the rest we have all the birds on youngsters only this pair not and then for my best hand we still have some eggs it was because we laid the first pair of eggs onto this uh, pair because we didn't want to breed them but there's only one youngster that came out the other one died off with the egg so that's a little bit disappointed but it is what it is so yeah that pair is still uh, locked with a water ball of course point is that the male bird every time joining uh, that gate so that's a uh, big disappointment but okay when the youngsters are bandaged, uh, then, then we will uh, remove this cock from the from this part of the loft and we put one youngster with this pair or that pair but we leave one for the hen so she can uh, go that young bird so and then i hope everything will be fine here nice to see that the birds are really active it means that the birds are uh, in good health this bird is one with only one eye i get them from uh, a really good breeder uh, combination so yeah he's a breeder for my loft at least so he's just did him but the first pets was not fertile and for this one i think it's the same problem but we can check on this egg now and as you can see it's still not fertile so i hope that maybe within a few days we can see something in it otherwise it's uh, it's the last time then i think it's better to uh, keep the cock the male bird and the hen in a separate uh, breeding box or department without any other birds so that they uh, can do it uh, alone this male was feeding his youngster these youngsters are the oldest i think it's time for them to wing them tomorrow here we have the oldest one it's just one day uh, difference between both of them but as you can see there's a big difference so maybe i have to put some of the youngsters to another pair so that we have a bigger one with a bigger one and etc but first i have to uh, put a wing on it so i know uh, which youngster is from which pair of course this hen is from belgium but <laughs> this bird has a great character it's a breeder hen i won't fly with this one because I buy, buy it from Belgium and it's really, I buy four of them and this is the best, best one I got from uh, the four of those so that's why I want to keep it in my breeding loft and here we have a great bird with two beautiful youngsters this one is a song of that bird right there but this one has more character than its father has so i will show you as you can see he's a little bit more um, not that hard in the nest but it's great to see him play with the birds of course
we have, we'll have a look in the other departments and then uh, we're gonna feed the birds and then it's done for today. The male birds feeding his youngster. Every time I'm gonna put the camera on it, they'll stop. But yeah, the birds are doing great. That's the best part. So here we are with the Ficuita Valenciana. The birds we are used for to um, get the pigeons uh, faster inside. There are two fertile eggs, so that's great. Then we are here with the other department. Those that meal is also from the ones I buy from Belgium. That one as well. And then we have this meal right here. It's for my best hen. Yes. Two third legs right there, and then we have here two third legs, and then also here it's a nice bird. It's from the Kittle line, all the three of them are so it's for the uh, short distance, so speed. And I hope you will um, can get some good results with that. Most of you uh, have the best results with the flight started from 300 kilometers, so. I hope we will get on the shorter distance also some uh, better results. We will find out. I'm just gonna show you one of the Belgian birds. It's a nice wing. Got some good muscles. And the little bone right here is close to the body. That's also a good thing. The eye is, uh, is dark, of course, because it's, it's a pirate bird, so it's harder to see. But I, I, in my opinion, it is a really nice eye to see. And then you hold it to the light, you can see the, the wing around is pupil. I'm not sure how to say it in English, but if that's fully around, then they have a good... Uh, Fishing is my opinion, of course. I will let him back to his eggs. This male. And a step one, quiet one. Quiet flight. Here we have six hens and three males. But we got the hens from another club member. He has to move his love to another place, so we uh, couldn't keep all the birds as a breeder, of course. So that's why we get some uh, of him. So I hope we uh, get some success with him as well. Now we're gonna feed the birds and then it's done. And I hope you like this video. I feed the birds in the feeding tray and also in the bowls inside of the breeding cages. I feed the birds around 30 grams each for the whole day and then a little bit extra because if I have to work overtime, I won't be able to feed the birds. So in that case, they will have enough food for themselves and the youngsters so that there won't be a problem that they uh, are out of food, of course. So that's why. But for now, the birds are doing fine on it. They're not too fat or anything. They're in good shape, good health. So I'm assured that it's um, fine the way we are doing right now. So so yeah, the birds, the young birds are going fast. So that's great. So guys, that was the video. I hope you liked it. Please give a thumbs up for me. I'll subscribe to my channel if you do it down below. I would appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye guys.